Welcome to the MPL Goal Show, the show where we bring you all the action from across the Northern Premier League. We start at Broadhurst Park, where just one goal separated FC United of Manchester and Baseford United. Ashley Chambers struck the decisive blow for Baseford deep into second half stoppage time, moving the Lions up into the top half. Gainsborough Trinity hosted Lancaster City in a game which started in ideal fashion for the home side. Goalkeeper James McLenahan came up with this early mistake and Dale Southwell was on hand to apply the finishing touch. Lancaster were looking to bounce back from their FA Cup defeat in midweek and Harrison Beedon headed home the leveller shortly after half time. The turnaround was complete with around 25 minutes to go, Dom Lawson turning the ball home from close range. All three points went the way of the Dolly Blues, who climbed to ninth in the table. Arguably the game of the weekend came at Nethermore, where early leaders Hyde United put their unbeaten start on the line against Geisley. Commentary for this one comes from the home side. Long bottom. And it's yeah! it! Will Longbottom left footed. Ilkeston Town are beating Whitby Town by a goal to nil. And everything else is nil nil. So not a goal fest in the Northern Premier League. Farrell gets away from Hall. Farrell one on one with the keeper. And Leo Farrell calm and composed slots it past Callum Hiddleston. I'd lying if I said though I didn't think that was going in. I just I expect him to score every one now. It's just the expectations that have been set. Corner goes in, it's towards the front post, and it's into the net. From Will Longbottom, we seemingly getting the credit. Corner goes in from Longbottom. It's towards Reese Kendall, who taps home at the back post and makes it 4 0 to the Lions. Newly promoted Heber and Town have enjoyed a dream start to life at step three, and Jack Donaghy ensured he got even better for the Hornets inside 10 minutes against Bamber Bridge. The hosts had failed to win either of their last two in the league, but Paul Van Zandvliet ensured there'd be no repeat this time around. <laughs> Top scorer Amar Piorwal made it three before half time. This his fourth of the season. <laughs> Hebburn hit four early in the second half. Some sloppy defensive play from the visitors, duly punished by Ollie Martin. Bamber Bridge have endured a difficult start to the season, but they did at least pull one back from the penalty spot through Jack Baxter. But it will be the Hornets who had the final say. Purewell scoring his second and his team's fifth of the afternoon. Yeah! On to Ilkston Town, who struck early at the new manor ground against Whitby Town. This penalty from Jamie Walker opening the scoring. Tom Kerson latched onto a long ball forward and held off the defender to stroke home a second shortly before half time. And it got even better five minutes later, Harvey Kirby Moore stretching their advantage to three. Kersons has started the season in fine form for Ilkeston and he was in the right place at the right time to roll home his 8th of the campaign with 11 minutes to go. The visitors grabbed a late consolation through Sam Collins who turned the ball home from the angle. But it would be the Robins flying high this afternoon as Walker headed home their 5th in stoppage time. That's 3 wins in 4 now for Ilkeston. 
Three scoring works up town travelled to Leek Town, having found the net for 17 times in their last four games. They had to wait until the 47th minute to open their account here, Regan Hutchinson firing home a delightful opener. They doubled their lead with 16 minutes to go thanks to another wonder strike, this time from Jacob Gratton. All three points were sealed two minutes later, Jordan Burrow finding the net on the rebound after a good initial save from Dino Visser. There was still time for the Tigers to make it four at the death, Vaughan Redford with this penalty. Managerless Matlock Town travelled to Mikulova, looking for their first league win of the season. It remained goals until the 76 minute mark when George Taft broke the deadlock. Mikulova was three unbeaten heading into Saturday, and Dylan Edwards' late header ensured that run would continue. On to another side currently without a permanent manager, Bly Spartans part in company with Nobby Solano at the end of August. They visited Prescott Cables with commentary coming from the home side. About two yards out, two yards away from the penalty area line. He just, on, just needs to get this up, under or over the wall and on target. Franny Smith! On to our new Northern Premier League leaders Macclesfield, who headed to Stockton Town looking to keep their unbeaten start alive. This first half strike from Justin Johnson earned them all three points in the North East. We end in Cumbria, where Workington and Warrington Rylands went in search for much needed three points. The breakthrough it's came right. early in the second half, Stephen Swinglehurst a scorer for the hosts. Yeah. However, it would end level as the visitors picked up just their fifth point of the campaign, and Tumba Masanka with a composed finish into the far corner. <laughs> 